But I have, but I'm to blame for that. Because I did not meet the pressures, however. Tom Sizemore has died after being taken off life support, his manager Charles Lego confirmed to reporters on Friday. The 61-year-old actor suffered a brain aneurysm on February 18. He was a well-known actor and have earned millions of hearts with a great amount of fortune. It's not okay if I have to, but I'm done with this. I'm not going to ask you again, soldier. Captain! Oh, no, this is bullshit. All of his fans are curious to know who will inherit all his property upon his death. In this video, we will tell you about net worth of Tom Sizemore and who is the true heir of his property. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end and click on the subscribe button if you haven't. Tom Sizemore was born on November 29, 1961 in Detroit, Michigan. He grew up in a working class family. He moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting. Sizemore got his start in the entertainment industry in the mid-1980s, appearing in small roles in TV shows and movies. Tom Sizemore's first appearance in a film was in the 1989 movie Lock Up, starring Sylvester Stallone. He played a small role as a guard in the prison where Stallone's character is serving his sentence. This was followed by a few more small roles in films, such as Born on the Fourth of July and Harley Davidson and The Marlboro Man. This led to more prominent roles in films such as True Romance and Natural Born Killers. In 1995, Sizemore appeared in the crime drama Heat, directed by Michael Mann. He played the role of Michael Chirito, and his performance was widely praised by critics. I figured this is the best thing to do. This is the best thing to do. This led to more high-profile roles in movies such as Saving Private Ryan, Black Hawk Down, and Pearl Harbor. Sizemore's career continued to flourish throughout the 2000s and he appeared in several TV shows and movies. This hair, man. Oh, you think I like these clothes? My wife. Despite his success, Tom Sizemore has faced several personal struggles throughout his career. He has struggled with addiction and has been arrested multiple times for drug related offenses. In 2005, he was convicted of assault and battery against his then girlfriend, the actress Heidi Fless. But I have, but I'm to blame for that, because I did not meet the pressures, however. Sizemore has been open about his struggles with addiction and has sought treatment several times. In recent years, he has been focused on his sobriety and has been working on rebuilding his career. Tom Sizemore's recent projects include the TV show Shooter and Twin Peaks The Return. He has also appeared in several independent films, including The Bronx Bull, The Gettysburg Address, and Witnesses. He played supporting roles in Passenger 57 1992, True Romance 1993, Strange Days 1995, Heat 1995, The Relic 1997, Saving Private Ryan 1998, Bringing Out the Dead 1999, Black Hawk Down 2001, Pearl Harbor 2001, and the revival series of Twin Peaks 2017. He provided the voice for Sonny Forley in the video game Grand Theft Auto, Vice City 2002. I know, I know, you're just overwhelmed with emotion. 15 years. Despite the challenges he has faced, Tom Sizemore remains a talented actor with a long and impressive career in the entertainment industry. Property He has reportedly owned several properties over the years, including a mansion in the Hollywood Hills that he bought in 2000 for $4.6 million. However, due to financial troubles, he had to sell the property in 2004. In recent years, there have been no reports of Tom Sizemore's current house or property ownership. Family He is the son of Judith Shanault, a member of the city's ombudsman office, and Thomas Edward Sizemore Sr., a lawyer and philosophy professor. Sizemore has three brothers, Paul, Aaron, and Charlie, all of whom are actors. His brother Charlie Sizemore is also a well-known bluegrass musician. Tom Sizemore married to actress Maeve Quinlan, whom he married in 1996 but divorced in 1999. Sizemore was the father of two sons, twins Jagger and Jaden, who were born in July 2005. He shared the twins with his ex Janelle McIntyre. Net worth Tom Sizemore had an estimated yearly salary of around $80,000, and you will be amazed to know that once he was in the top 10 list of highest paid actors. But unfortunately, he saw downfall in his career due to his drug addiction.
Tom Sizemore has an estimated net worth of $3 million, leaving behind his two children, Jagger and Jaden, will inherit all his properties after his death. As an accomplished actor with a long-standing career, Tom Sizemore has made a significant impact in the entertainment industry. Despite facing some personal challenges throughout his life, he has persevered and continues to be recognized for his talent and dedication to his craft. With his extensive filmography and numerous accolades, Tom Sizemore's contributions to the world of cinema will undoubtedly be remembered for years to come. Let us know in the comment box which of his roles is your favorite and click on the like button if you have enjoyed the video. We will be back with more insiders. Till then, goodbye.